Governance portal is here. Sky Mavis has launched this new governance experiment. There's been a lot of different on-chain governance ideas out there using blockchain to basically allow people to vote on decisions for projects, for businesses and stuff. I haven't really seen any like super clear examples of this working in gaming, but Axie's taking a stab at it. So let's take a look at this and see what they're doing. So they've got a summary on top. Today marks the birthday of Axie governance and the Axie score. Every Lunasian can now participate in the governance of our digital nation through the Alpha Axie governance portal. So I guess it's been a year since they started governance in some form, but the portal is the new thing. The Axie score is a point system that reflects a community member's contributions to Axie based on specific metrics. The governance portal is where community members cast votes. You connect your wallet, stake AXS in the portal, and select a topic to cast a vote. And then your voting power is determined based on the thing. And they're inviting people to cast their first vote for an upgrade for AIP 001. A voting power snapshot takes place on May 20th, and then voting opens on May 20th, and there's a seven-day voting period. Okay. Well, it's cool. I mean, if anyone's able to pull off on-chain governance in a gaming context. Sky Mavis has one of the strongest track records as far as like building infrastructure for crypto gaming and stuff, like the whole Ronin ecosystem, Katana decks, the Ronin blockchain, and like the whole Sky Mavis business structure. I mean, all of it is very innovative and forward thinking and they have been on the cutting edge pretty much the whole time. But the idea of progressive decentralization of starting centralized and decentralizing over time is one of those things that's easy to do, easy to talk about rather. It's one of those things that's easy to talk about, very difficult to do. And the business incentives are often, at least in the short term, medium term, against decentralizing. And a lot of people are like, why would you give away power to the community by decentralizing when you could keep that power you know, for the business decision makers, the C-suite, you know, the CEO? the COO, the CFO, you know, people like that, the top dogs of the company. So they've been working on something called the contributor program, and now they're using that for this governance system. So what is this Axie score? The more a community member adds value to Axie Infinity, the higher their Axie score. So it, it captures your Axie resume. Uh, this kind of sums up the weird part of, of Ronin, where it's like, you're not just playing games, having fun. You're being measured based on your contributions to the ecosystem through your fucking like metaphorical Axie resume. Like to me, that's not, that's not really what I want when I'm playing games. I want to have fun with a game. I'm not trying to like build my fucking resume. It makes it sound so like corporate and weird. Um, but at the same time, it does make sense to try to like, you know, let people who have been involved have a higher vote. So it does make sense, even though culturally it's always been a little weird for me. It's like, if you're not all in on Axie, then like people kind of act weird. And it's like, well, I'm not all in on Axie. Deal with it. You know what I mean? So it's one of those, you know, kind of like in-group, out-group tribal things, but it has served Axie well. So for the present text, uh, for the present test, Axie score will be tested as a modifier of a community member's staked AXS. Okay, so in this case, it's just based on your economic power, basically. The more AXS you state, you stake, the more your voting power is. So like what Survey said, based on that, it sounds like whales get benefits is pretty much how this is going to work out. Um, but that's, that's where the Axie resume thing, even though I just kind of said that I'm not sure how I feel about that concept, that is where it is a good thing is like if you don't have the financial resources, you can potentially earn more of a say through your contributions in terms of how you use your time, what actions you take. So maybe the Axie resume concept, I don't like the word resume because it feels like corporate job searching stuff, but it is, it is like, yeah, may, maybe that's actually a good way because the alternative is kind of purely economic. And this paragraph talks about that. So there have been debates around how to compute the score, debating what kinds of contributions should be included, what is the relative value of a contribution? How will it be measured? Such questions are difficult to answer in the abstract. And given the importance of the Axie score to successful governance, we ran the risk of it falling into analysis paralysis. So like trying to decide it and never actually deciding basically. Um, so anyway, 
some of the community leaders, Cairo, Baronar, Trong, Jiho, and some other people I'm not as familiar with, basically set up a committee to work through those issues. And the consensus, we're just going through this doc, of course, the consensus is that we should arrive at the Axie score through ongoing experimentation over time in collaboration. So this is a version 0 0.001 early pre-release. So basically they're taking a lean iterative approach as they usually do. And what's interesting about this to me is how it's not even so much about what the governance system is. This is more about how they set up the governance system. And like, to me, this is a really good example of how Axie and Sky Mavis is always operating in a manner where they're able to scale. Like Axie Sky Mavis learned from Axie Classic plus experiences before Axie and CryptoKitties and stuff. They learned what sort of things stop a company from scaling. They learned what interrupts successful scaling. Why do games start out with a lot of potential and then fail to scale up? Axie Classic went through so many mistakes, but they were able to survive and now they have all this experience of like how to avoid scaling issues, which is why, for example, Pixels has had much less drama compared to Axie Classic. Um, you know, if you kind of compare the growth of Pixels and the growth of Axie Classic years prior, the Pixels thing has been a lot smoother, even though they've still had a lot of the same basic problems. Every single game has anti-cheat, botting, economic issues, gameplay concerns, you know, keeping the game updated and, and, and guilds and all this stuff. What we're seeing is that Sky Mavis is exceptional at scaling, not just having the initial idea and shipping the initial version, but then scaling it all the way to a final uh, thing. That's what makes it so fucking strong. That's why I would never bet against Sky Mavis. And this document really breaks all that down, I think. So with that said, it's a very early version of the governance system, mostly based on how much AXS you have staked. At least that's what I'm gathering from going through this. And if we look a little further, uh, let's see. I think there's some more info here. So the first version of Axie Score makes a few starting assumptions. There are four primary contribution categories. In-game performance, like how good you are at the various games. Contributions to the treasury, basically your, your whale economic resource stuff. Community contributions. And then Axie NFT holdings. Uh, oh, okay, so this is actions that contribute to the treasury, like releasing axes, evolving, and then this is just raw holdings. So the the second and the fourth point kind of go together to form the economic side, and the first and the third one. The first one is skill-based with a side of economic, because of course, stronger in-game assets cost more and will enable you to perform better, but that's also balanced by the player's actual skill level as all card games have as well, not unique to Axie or anything. Axie being a card game, but kind of like a weird card game because you don't buy cards, you buy Axies, uh, buy and sell. But yeah, so the, one of these is purely actions-based, community contributions, just Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Facebook, wherever the hell you are. So pretty, pretty balanced approach, honestly. And apparently the individual measures will be based on badges, assigned with a corresponding value. Therefore, for a given category, an individual score will be the sum of the corresponding values for all earned badges. Whew. So it sounds pretty reasonable. It actually sounds pretty reasonable. I really appreciate them laying out this whole thought process. This is a really good blog post. I mean, this, this gives me a lot of confidence that Sky Mavis at least has a good chance to pull off governance because they've built up to this over a long time. Uh, okay, there's a lot more. Let's see if we can get through this pretty quickly. So, anything else super interesting here? Well, okay, so let's just go through this then. The initial release of this governance portal is based on a few principles. Stake to vote. You require AXS to be staked to affirm the commitment of a voter to the community and to reduce voter fraud. Enhancing democracy through a quadratic modifier. Quadratic voting is a concept that's come up quite a bit in governance discussions. I'm not an expert on governance at all. Let's see what the summary... I, I, if I try to summarize it, I might mess it up, so I'll just read this. So, typical token-based voting struggles to account for outsized influence slash power from large holders. In an attempt to moderate this, they're going to use a quadratic modifier, which is a variable that vunts, blunts the voting power of the largest holders of assets. So, I think it's like... 
as you get more and more above other people in terms of assets, the amount of money you have matters less and less, basically. Like, if you have a little bit more than me, then that is counted. If you have a lot more than me, then it's not counted as fully. So the further the differential, the more it gets flattened to prevent, like, a super whale from dominating votes. That's a very just bonehead, Stone Age's uh, understanding of it. You can Google quadratic voting, and uh, you can also look at Vitalik Buterin's blog. He has some posts on it. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I'm not aware of with that. Lastly, Unasian voting power, a given community member's voting power is a numeric measure calculated upon the amount of AXS staked, the influence of the quadratic modifier multiplied by the Axie score, and then that voting power can be applied to a given vote. So basically, you go to the portal, you stake some AXS, connect your wallet, select the topic, and then you vote. This is a really good explanation. It seems like a really good system. And overall, I just, I feel like this is a very compelling, very compelling way to start running governance. I'm going to cast my vote on May 20th for sure. I'll have to stake some AXS. I'm happy to do so. I'm sure my Axie score won't be that high, but more than nothing, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. I think that's really cool. Good job, Sky Mavis. Excellent start to this governance portal. Uh, I think this is a great blog post, so well done. I'm excited to see how this pans out. Let's see how this goes. Looking forward to May 20th and that week. Hopefully this will be a good start to the governance system for Sky Mavis. Cool stuff.